You see the middle finger you get, right? This is the salute that you get. You, you, and you. I don't trust these fucking cops. Mistaken bacon motherfuckers. This motherfucker shot him. Twice to a death. That's a fucking shame. The suspect is on this security video showing the front of the store on East Burnside Avenue, capturing the gunman arm raised and shooting his way inside. Bullets fatally struck the head and chest of the 31 year old man. Where are we now? Um, we were just coming on in the 60s where the entire city was bankrupt. That the turntables became our instruments. Like, so a lot of people in the city, they didn't have. Black should be back. He should be back. This shit. What's going on, people? Oh, shit. Let me get something funny real quick here. While we wait. Oh, man. It's 11.34 Thursday, May 28th. 46 degrees out there. In New York City time. Sorry, people. Just waiting people to come on in. This is at this point. Yeah, that's not the one I was I had been playing. I don't know what the hell happened to my shit there. But what's going on, people? A lot of shit's going on. Everybody saw my ditty. Everybody saw my ditty. What's up with Meek Mills? He hasn't came back with a response. Is he getting his lawyers in and shit? I mean, living a lot of dirt going on. Boston, salute. Diamond, salute. Nikki, baby, salute. Stick. Boston, this should have been crazy, man. I'm just trying to figure out this over here. Like, I don't, I don't get this part over here. Anybody ever listen to this part of me? Mills. Hold up, hold up. Hey, yo, Boston, listen to the words he says, man. Check this shit out. Put it. Let me put this.
what's going on. What the hell is this? What do you mean by that? Dream chases, nigga. I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. Real street niggas forever. Bitch, I'm the king of Philly. What? Wait, what? What did he just say? Let me put that back again. What do you mean by that? Dream chases, nigga. I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. Black, what up, Black? What's good, cool? Shit, I'm just trying to figure out this line right here. Have you ever, have you ever heard of this right here? Black, have you ever listened? Let me let me play that again one more time. All in Romeo, salute. Salute, salute. Forever, bitch, I'm the king of Philly. What do you mean by that? Dream chases, nigga. I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. Real street nigga forever, bitch, I'm the king of Philly. What do you mean? So think about that, Black. I hope he said it, not me. No, no. <laughs> you feel me? He said that shit, not me. <laughs> Yo, boss, let me just lay down you. I hope they forgive him for what he did with Diddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know Boston. I know Boston. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not. It's not about all Diddy, though. Look, look at the title, though. Look at the title. Everybody Boston, talking. salute. Let me let me drop the link down for Boston so he can pull up if he wants real quick. And why Nikki, salute. But my thing is this, Black. Everybody been talking about Diddy, right? Yeah. Before Diddy, who who they, what other what other rapper they was fucking with? Before Diddy, what other rappers who was fucking with? All the problems that they started getting with these lawsuits and all these other claims, losing their contract, losing their business. I don't know, bro. To me, you don't know. I don't know who. who I know. Uh, Russell Simmons stepped down from Dev Jam because he knew shit was about to happen. Was about to happen. Uh, and Diddy, that's all. The, Diddy, the first, really the first nigga I heard all this shit about. I mean, we 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 we're not talking about you know just the the the. You think it's it's, it's that he's speaking out too much and they're trying to shut him down? Like you know, Kanye West was a whole different story, right? Right. But now that all these uh people coming forward, um, it's looking real bad. Oh, it's um, a lot of niggas about to, but it's about to be on fire. So who you think would be next on the list? That is my question. Hollywood is a cesspool. It's right, but it's crazy. Like I don't, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Ain't no telling, bro. Yo, Boston, I don't think Meek Mills and, 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 and um and Rick Ross was, was real tight like that. Diamond shooter salute. I don't I yeah, don't think crazy. Rick Ross got too much dirt on him. I, I, I don't think he got too much dirt on him, but me, I think the next one is coming out is gonna be Jay-Z. I've been saying that since like a whole week already. Crazy. I thought I thought Jay Z was gonna go down before Pete Diddy, believe it or not. So you think so you think um your boy Ricky Rose was a plant? Um I don't know. Uh no, I think he would have been talking. I mean, I think he was the first CEO to turn rapper. Um 
Bursio Tarapa. Wasn't Burn First Man correction back? officer. First correction oh. officer. First nigga that was in, in there making niggas go in their cell and telling niggas what time they can eat and all that shit. Oh, shit. To becoming a big, big, big time rapper. But half the shit that he says is like fairy tales. All this pound of coke I used to do this and all this other Ooh. shit I used to do that. Like, man, listen, we all saw pictures when you was working. You blew up. You, you got good music. It is what it is. But they betrayed himself like they've been doing that their whole entire life. I mean, I know Cat Williams was talking about that Kevin Hart was a plant. I'm starting to think Rick Ross was a plant, bro. Uh, I think Kevin Hart. Because he Hall came out of nowhere. Just think about it. Rick Ross came out of nowhere. Right? Him and him and him and Trick Daddy start beefing with the Trick Daddy or uh 50 Cent was going at it with him. Nah, it was him and before 50 Cent. The, the nigga that exposed him for being a motherfucking correction officer. I can't think of his name. Uh if it wasn't Uncle Luke, it was Trick Daddy. I think, you know what I'm saying? I think it was Trick Daddy. Yeah, it was Trick Daddy that exposed him for being a correction officer. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? First he denied being a correction officer. You feel me? Then all the pictures and shit came out. He had, he couldn't deny it no more. So he was just like, woo. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Word up. laughs> Yeah, I'm, that, that's sad. The Boss. Real Boss. 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 Yeah. Boss. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think they put a computer chip in that nigga ass. He was walking around going, Whoa, Boss. Ricky Rouse. Boss. <laughs> Rose. Don't forget the Rose. Ricky Rose. Maybach. Boss. Rouse. <laughs> Rouse. <laughs> and then, and oh. then <laughs> Boss. That's going to be our shit now. Boss. <laughs> Rouse. The boss. R R Rose. <laughs> Say Ricky. Rose. What up, Wax Dog? Salute. <laughs> Backdoor, uh, backdoor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Rick Rose might have been a plant, bro. Oh, he might have no. been a plant. He was already working for them people. Uh, and everybody knew it before they started fucking with him. Just think about it, bro. Once the once, once the hip hop police got got popping, Rick Ross became a rapper. And he became a rich, famous rapper. That is a fact. He, he, oh, no. Nobody never looked at that shit like that, huh? Well, that shit is kind of crazy, like. That's, that's, that's kind of crazy, bro. He was a CEO. Now, all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he went from that ain't me. That's a fact. Wax dog. That nigga's a plant, bro. That nigga got planted into the game, bro. The watch Diddy in them. I wouldn't be surprised if he the motherfucker that told on Diddy. Nah, if, if he would have been a plant, he would have finished all 50 cents some way, somehow. Nah, he couldn't finish 50. That wasn't his job. You're right. It was the other people's job. Fuck you talking about? He was just the the, the 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 plant, like you said. Fuck you talking about? Yeah, he the plant. It wasn't his job to finish fifty. He he had to come in and get Puffy out the way. See, they already got whole more stories on Dr. Dre. Fifty come up under Dre. And you heard rumors about fifty too. No, I ain't heard no rumors about 50. I... <laughs> uh, that's an old ass rumor. Stop playing. What was her name? Um, yeah. Um, what the fuck was that? What that chick's name? Um, shit. Um, Victoria. Are you talking about old girl that's keep talking all that shit? So she said that he like she like he, he likes to get you know play with his little. Yeah, old girl played with his little. She licked his ass. Um, 
Vivica Fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want. I didn't want to get the wrong name now. Shit. Yeah, nah. Vivica was licking that boy ass. So that does that make you gay if a woman licks your ass? And it won't make me gay because I ain't let them lick my ass, but it'll make you gay. <laughs> 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 Heard up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. That oh. shit crazy. Love yeah, they said that boy like his cornhole play with. And uh Kanye like his cornhole play with too. Amber Rose said that. She did say that. You're right. Amber Rose said that boy like a nice finger in his ass. Oh <laughs> no. no. <laughs> that boy like a nice little uh, ring finger. <laughs> Ring my bell, ring my bell, ring it in. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, all these rappers, all these, man. Who's going to be the first? Who's going to be the next one? And who's going to crack and start? Well, see, everybody keep talking about this Meek Mill shit and all the puppy ain't no. That's not what puppy going to jail for. Puppy ain't going to jail for fucking no niggas. Puppy going to jail for fucking little kids and, and trafficking women from state to state. Drug possession, um, gun possession. So far, shit. Now I think I think some blood on somebody's hands. I think some some murders and all a whole bunch of shit about to start coming out, bro. So that that twenty five year old white boy that got it caught with the coke in the plane, right? I'm I'm hearing he was a basketball player. You right in that motherfucker? Huh? Yeah, so that's what I'm hearing. Is that correct? Anybody knows about that? So everybody's focused on Pete Diddy. I'm just trying to focus around the people around him and shit. Let me see something. I know I have it here. Let's see if I find it there. Well, this said that he was a basketball player. Um, let's see if I find it right here. It should be here. Oh shit! By the way, let me just um let I know my my uh one of my videos got struck. Montana um, said you suck, my Google. page. It's okay. Go to sleep anyway. <laughs> she said he keeps telling me to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she needs to go to sleep. Stop trolling the motherfucker. God damn. So, oh yeah, blacks. So I meant to tell you my YouTube um uh, fake O31 crypto exposed, aka milkman, aka dirty trade. Somebody struck my page. So um on that on that video there. So I already I already did what I did, and they'll let me know who struck my page tomorrow. I'll put that shit up. That's some some that's some bullshit. Oh. So strike my page. Leave me the fuck alone. I only speak the truth. And everything that I put on that video was the truth. You said it, not me. So I don't know how I lied in that video or some bullshit, but I'm still fighting it. So I appealed the video and everything. So it is what it is. Crazy. Oh, well, man. that's YouTube. Yeah, that's YouTube. Go ahead. Right so it's a YouTube. But yeah, oh, boy, your boy, your boy Diddy out there. Uh, Telling anybody to take that, take that. And how 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 many people did he did he say that to? Take that, take that too. Like that shit. You ain't going when nowhere. <laughs> Y'all go to jail, my nigga. <laughs> so did I hear right? Was it true that um Shook Knight called uh 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 Pete Diddy or, or Sean Combs or whatever you want to call him. I'm gonna start calling him Jeffrey. Yeah, that's gonna you be said Shook Knight had the P. Diddy. Nah, I, I heard that he called him, made a conversation, called him up and spoke to him. Oh, he like, told him that he getting that bunk warm, that bunk. He, you know what I'm saying? Y'all about to be bunked. 
We about to be roommates, nigga. About to be bunkies. I'm about to get this bunk warmed up for you, Diddy. Don't come up in here dancing and bouncing and all that other shit. Cause oh, ain't nobody shit. taking that, taking that in here. You gonna be taking that, taking that, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Rowe, <Rook>, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this one for Pac, baby. <laughs> baby. Baby. <laughs> Here's the honey buns. Yeah, leave a honey <laughs> button. Up. This one for Pac, my boy. Take that, take that. Oh shit. Yeah, real nigga shit. Real nigga spell. That's crazy. Crook, salute, salute, crook. Shooter, you know the shit. Up here talking about Suge Knight getting that bunk ready for for, for uh but Diddy. Love. Ain't his new name called Love? <laughs> yeah. give him a yeah. love I'm that. telling you, 2032, they're going to have some shit on TV called Celebrity Prison. I promise you. Mark my words, bro. I said that shit today, 2024. 2030 plus is going to be a, a, a TV show called Celebrity Prison, bro. Or Kelly, Diddy. All them niggas gonna be up in that bitch. Mm -mm -mm. Gonna be crazy. Yeah, boy. Huh. I knew when Diddy told Fabulous, yo, yo, when we gonna party? And Fabulous was like, yo, I, we was at a party together. And Diddy was like, nah, we ain't party, party. Like, damn. You want a party party? <laughs> Yo, like, what the fuck? How do you party party? Hey, cool. Yo. If we ever go somewhere together, have a good time, and then come back, and then you call me, talk some now when we gonna party, I ain't never speaking to your ass no more. Especially if we just left the party. <laughs> so when we gonna party party? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Cat Williams told me about niggas like you. <laughs> the closest saying some shit like that is, yo, before even the night starts, yo, we're going to this club right here. After that, we're going to the after party. I don't yeah, know. that's New cool. That's cool. New York is different. I don't know about other places, some other places. Yeah. Shut down at 1 o'clock, yeah. Did he, did he want the private party? Yeah, yeah. He wanted that private VIP, close the goddamn yeah. private session. Now niggas talk about... uh. Jada kissing all these niggas? Nah. That's why kissing them got the fuck away from that. I think he party party with your man. Who? Your boy. Who my boy? Ja. Ja who? You know who? Fuck you mean, Ja who? Where would I be without you? That nigga? That nigga right there. Yeah, him. Ja who? Yeah. What? You, man, that... Man, they've been Look, talking about you too. Running through the red life. light, living my life. Even if I'm getting too high, I'm gonna be nah, he ain't fucking with y'all like that. Yo, the bodyguard said, right? And this time yeah. he said that they was knocking on some door or some shit. I, I can't remember how the story goes, but those motherfuckers, them two motherfuckers came out the room with, with towels. towels on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I heard some shit like that too. It might be true, my nigga. Ja yeah, might. Yeah. That's probably why Ja. You know what I'm saying? His vote, his voice, deep like that. Fucked his vocal vocal cords up. So you trying to say he? Oof, yo. I, mm, nah. I'm trying to say that nigga was headed nowhere fast, running in place, getting his waist. When nigga wanted to taste, but what? I don't know what the fuck going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know, bro. Fuck everybody that's suspect, yo. I don't even want to. Everybody, yo, everybody suspect, bro. I'm ready to take my biggie post off, yo. Fuck around. But I'm looking at I'm looking at my post in the living room and just thinking about probably 90% of these motherfuckers done been touched. So we have pictures of Mook. I guess Little Nas X was just like, fuck it, I ain't even gonna hide it. 
Oh, he's out of control. Like, he, he's something Bro, else. Bro, the motherfucking store going to be closed by the time this bitch. Crazy. That's crazy. I don't know. That's what they saying. That's what they saying, but it doesn't look good. But I'm saying, man, something somebody's gonna crack, somebody's gonna give up. And, and let me see. Put this one up there for a second. Let's see. This, I never understood this video here. Look, y'all, I don't know what's going on. Let me try to get it today. God damn it. I thought I had it here. What was the one, the original one? What the hell was the original one? Looking for the original video. I don't know. So, what you, you think, you bro? With what? Hollywood. Let's go to the highest paid actors. You think they've been touched? The highest one is probably the I'm going to say that. Will Smith automatically. I'm going to say yes on that one. Oh, definitely a double yes on his ass. I think Will been touched for a long time. I think Uncle Phil hooked his ass up. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> 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 Word up. I think Uncle Phil hooked him up with the law. Word is bar. On the whole set. <laughs> you get a rich. <laughs> yeah. Well, what about your boy Denzel? Huh? You, th you think Denzel been letting niggas uh Play with the uh with his yo yo. Party with Diddy. You never know. Top shot, Shakur. You is that you top shot, Shalou. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, you never know. Did somebody say Diddy? I don't know. <laughs> What's said, that? Nah, Will Smith. Yeah, Will Smith, but I'm trying to see if Denzel, don't, uh, you know what I'm saying? Denzel been in a lot of movies. One of the highest paid actors we got. I mean, if they was confident enough to go run down on your boy uh, Terry Crews, and he ain't nowhere near as the actor as Denzel is. God damn, I'm shy you come up with it. That's the first thing you're going to say? God damn, bro. I ignored that shit. I just saluted him and left that at that. Fucking wrong. Somebody's gonna hit you in your head and time you out. For real. Oh, check this video out. This video, this is this is little. I oh, don't know. It's kind of strange to me. As we finish off, um, you go, Justin. My name is Justin, aka Just Glow. I'm a Capricorn, and I'm about that action, and I'm about raising money. For the healthcare people, oh, and we're just so blessed and thankful, yeah. and thank y'all for supporting us today. Yeah. Bad boy. What up, y'all? I'm Quincy. I want to say thank y'all for. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Before this, before this one right here, this is a. Uh, that's not even his real son. I ain't that the other one. I'll be sure, son, or whatever the fuck it is. But the first one, you he say he's about that. You've been living in behind these mansions, gates. Why these celebrities, young kids, always want to act like That's they never them. Buck, salute. Buck, what up? Look, we just rewind this right here. This. That's good. Oh, T.I. son. Look, fucking idiot. You stupid motherfucker. My name is Justin, a.k.a. Just Glow. I'm a Capricorn, and I'm about that action, and I'm about raising money. For the healthcare people, oh, and we're just so blessed and thankful, yeah. and thank y'all for supporting us today. Yeah. Bad boy. Okay. What up, y'all? I'm Quincy. I want to say thank y'all for rocking with us. What you found? One of the prettiest Sorry. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> for everybody wondering, and thank y'all so much for just 
you know, tuning in with us. We felt the energy. We saw the comments. Let's keep it going. You know, this is, uh, you know, we wanted to do this to just wake everybody up in a way of just, you know, in a loving way. You know, so help everybody have a happy Easter. Jesus is risen. Anybody else? Yeah, yeah. Everyone in introduce yourself. My name's Ava. I'm a Scorpio. No, no, no. What's your last name? Oh, Ava Combs. What's your other oh. last name? Ava Barone. Ava Barone. All right, now watch the, the, the face reaction and, and the words they use, um, Black. Check this out. Tony Combs, yes, it's, it was breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child. <laughs> I, want you, I want you to tell them the story about how I adopted you. you. But you still have beautiful parents that, but you're my child also. But please, please tell the story. So, I was <laughs> on the streets. <laughs> And then Papa Combs decided to, that he would like to be a caring man. So then. Did you hear what she just said, Black? No, nah, no. Nah, what did she say, Cool? That was crazy. To be a caring man. So then he saw me. And decided to. <laughs> I was on the streets. <laughs> and then. She was on the streets. And then Papa. Came. Papa Combs <laughs> decided to, that he would like to be a caring man. So then he saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with his kids. Mm hmm. You came to play with the Diddy Bob, huh? He hit you with the we ain't go and no and he hit you with so, that. So 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 you're telling me you picked up a white little girl, took her to your house and said, play with my kids. Yeah, come play with the babies. Uh, look, look look how he goes on the off watch this. Look at his reaction after that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, watch. Look at this cover up. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, 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 that's like a little bit like borderline suspect. <laughs> I don't want nobody. Why would it be borderline suspect? Because he picking up, but how old is she? Like 12? Fuck. But what's the first place of you even picking her up? You picking up a homeless 12 years old? How the fuck she even homeless at 12? That shit crazy right there. That shit don't oh, make no This is just like. DBN, salute. It's, 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 man, it's, it's, it's crazy, yo. Like, I don't even get it. Like, Ain't no grown ass man so he picking up no little girls, bringing them home, especially no little white girls. Exactly. Then she calling this man Papa. Oh no, nah, that don't that don't even seem right. Papa. I'm telling you, who that's she Simba salute. DBS. She Simba salute. Yeah, man, that's 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 crazy, man. Like I don't even like. Hmm. Yeah, nah. Look, niggas looking at me crazy as hell. I come home with a little white girl talking. About, I, I brought her home to play with my kids. What the fuck? But look at the kids, how old they are. The other one say he's about that life. The other one is like, I don't know what the fuck, it, man. That's crazy, like. I don't get it. Like yeah, that shit that. crazy right there, bro. I mean, you telling me that if you wanted to fucking help somebody out, you telling me you couldn't go to the fucking hood <coughs> and took care of somebody. Took a couple of dollars in her pocket, all types of shit. Nah, you feel me? Come, come play to 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 Diddy's house. Nah, yeah. come 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 to Papa's crib and uh, come play with my kids. Yeah, come play with my with my older kids at that. The ones that say yeah, my grown-ass kids, that, that grown-ass men, come play with them. 
So that first that one, don't even see. He shouldn't even put that out there, bro. What was he thought he was gonna be looking good like he was a good Samaritan because she said she was homeless? I agree with you, uh, she said, but that whole shit was cringe. Well, I know that somebody's going to be next. I'll give it another couple of weeks from now and shit. That's a fact, bro. Them, 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 them motherfucking, them ain't no little, them boys was 23, 24 years old. I'll be sure something like 28. Fuck wrong with them. And Stevie J, stop playing yourself. I forgot about you. You want to go and go after 50 cents when you got punked on that show, that TV show. What was the clip of that TV show they had? Um, Love and Hip Hop, I believe it was. I forgot, I forgot it was one of the rappers. And he backed out like a little bitch. All of a sudden, everybody called him a mook. Now he wants to act as a tough guy. I don't know. You think you think Fifty would knock him out, or you think uh, uh, Speedy J would knock him out? That'd be a good celebrity fight. What y'all think about that? Let me say something. Let me say something. <laughs> Yeah, man, niggas is doing bad. That's bad. He did bad. Do you do you do you know the guy the one who leaked that tape with Meek Mills and and and, and, and Diddy? Nope. Yes, yeah, right. My mouse is so slow. Let me see what this. Let me see what this guy says. He's the one who recorded this shit. Did he had that man in the room? Look, yes. I put my ear to the door and I brought the phone because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the was going on, but I just heard balls slapping against cheeks. I heard struggling and taking. Ooh, chow. So it looked like the allegations about Meek being Diddy's boy toy were true after all, because an audio just leaked of Meek screaming for his life when Diddy merciless. Oh, dog, don't this picture look suspect here? The fuck is this? Oh, hell no. Yeah. Oh, boy, fur. Hey, what the hell is that shit at? I just saw a picture of it. Okay, fuck it, it's Mr. Being Diddy's boy toy. That picture right there. What the fuck? Yo, who does that, Black? Can somebody explain that picture to me? Who does that? Motherfuckers having the same fucking shirt on, like boyfriend and girlfriend, his and hers and shit. That's crazy. Like them two shirts right there. Like I don't know if I know my boy, we not gonna be dressing like. Look, look at look at both of their pose. Like like how they posing. This one got the knob at. Like this shit is crazy. Mikey B, salute Mikey B. Um, shit, I don't know. My question is to the chat, man. Who's going to be next? Um, 
I, I'm, I'm gonna go with Jay Z. That's gonna be my bet. I'm gonna go with Jay Z. He got too many skeletons in that damn closet, and that closet is about to break. And all them shit is about to come out that closet pretty soon. Because um, he been on some 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 crazy shit there. But like, I'm calling uh Diddy uh Jeffrey. That's gonna be his new name, Jeffrey. Yeah, that that, that this man. You heard what he just said? This man is some on um, some old crazy shit. He said he put his ears on the motherfucking. Look. Did he had that man in the room? Look, yes, I put my ear to the door and I brought the phone because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the f was going on, but I just heard balls slapping against cheeks. I heard Whoa. struggling to take. Ooh, chow. So it looked like the allegations about Meek being Diddy's boy toy were true after all, because an audio just leaked of Meek screaming for his life when Diddy mercilessly clapped his cheeks. One thing about the internet, they ain't never gonna forget and always come through with receipts, honey. Now, if y'all remember, Meek was exposed for being Diddy's little twink a couple weeks ago, but Meek denied these allegations and even started threatening the people who were speaking on it. Well, it looks like he was running his mouth a little too much because people started digging for evidence and girl they found some things that not even Meek can deny. Apart from the disturbing audio of him getting pounded by Diddy, there's also an old song where Meek blatantly admitted to getting freaky with Diddy for a check. Oh, y'all better sit back for this one because we've got a lot to get into here. Okay, so as most of y'all already know by now, Diddy is currently on the run and he's reportedly hiding in the Caribbean island after the feds flooded his home and raided it for evidence that they could finally throw him in jail with. Now, both of his sons, Justin and Christian, who were also tied to his dirty dealings, were cuffed up and thrown into police vehicles. Now, while all this was going down, the attention quickly shifted from the raid to Meek Mill after Diddy's ex-bodyguard leaked an audio tape of Meek getting pounded by Diddy during one of their freak-off sessions. The reason why this got a lot of people's attention is because Meek had already been exposed as Diddy's boy toy a couple weeks ago, but he adamantly denied and tried tried to make it look like people were just trying to emasculate him. Whole time, he really was bending over for Diddy. Like, you cannot make this up. Now, for those of y'all who don't know, a music producer by the name Lil Rod filed an explosive multi-million dollar lawsuit against Diddy a couple weeks ago for SA. Not only did he incriminate Diddy, but he also name-dropped other people in this lawsuit, including Diddy's sons, Justin and Christian Combs, Young Miami, Usher, and Meek Mill. Apparently, Justin and Miami were in cahoots with Diddy SAing a bunch of girls, and Miami was the one in charge of illegally servicing these girls to Diddy. Rodney also went to expose Diddy for sleeping with some of the men in exchange, he would give them all the opportunities they want in Hollywood. And as you can already guess at this point, Meek was at the top of that list of men letting Diddy slide in for a couple opportunities. Rodney even said Diddy confessed to him that he coerced Stevie J into a freak off session with the promise of getting Stevie a Grammy for producer of the year. Now, this is where things get even messier because somewhere in the lawsuit, he also exposed Meek Mill and Usher as one of the people that often came to these freak offs. Rodney didn't explicitly mention Meek Mill and Usher names in the lawsuit like he did with everybody else, but he gave some descriptions that had very specific details that pretty much made everybody know who he was talking about. Like he described Meek as a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj and described Usher as a male R&B singer who performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. Now, I don't think I need to tell y'all all this, but Meek is definitely a rapper from Philadelphia who dated Nicki from 2015 to 2017. Usher also also just had a very successful Vegas residency, which reportedly grossed over a hundred million dollars. And he did in fact perform at the Super Bowl a couple weeks ago. Anyway, going back to Rodney's lawsuit, he claimed that he witnessed Usher and Diddy hooking up several times and making out with the girls that young Miami and Justin would bring for him. Rodney recalled the time where they were partying on Diddy's yacht and he saw both Meek and Usher messing with several girls. The lawsuit said, rapper, 
Meek on Combs Yacht consorting with underage girls and S workers. And do y'all remember what I said about Diddy confessing to Rodney that he coerced Stevie J to sleep with him? Well, it turns out it wasn't just Stevie. Because according to Rodney, Diddy explicitly told him that he also had hooked up with Usher and Meek several times. The lawsuit stated, Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in intercourse with rapper Redacted and R&B singer Redacted and Stevie J. Chell, people were beyond disgusted by the things that Diddy has been doing with Usher and Meek and they immediately jumped on social media to drag them. Meek started spiraling all over social media and tweeted a bunch of things in a desperate attempt to defend himself but folks weren't having it. He said, I would trash any celebrity if they tried a wild move on me. No pics. Literally go crazy on them. That is all. I'm from Philly, man. All my guys always watch me around this wild industry. Every black blog site enhanced that post to make me seem gay. I change laws for our people. I donate millions. They are designed to destroy the image of black leaders. It can't work with me, though. You got a real... The Federal Reserve Bank of New York just issued a digital dial... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Like I said, it's looking real nasty for him. Jay Z. Yo, but I, but I thought that they said that he he was in uh in that island Antigua. That was like one of the islands they said that he was at and shit. And and my question is this: that how come if there was both in the plane? And the white boy got arrested with that coke. Why they never took him inside? Why they never handcuffed him on that? that, that that's another thing. Why was he let go? Shit, that would have been me and my partner, my Spanish partner, or, or anybody with us in that plane. We would have been blocked up. I don't know. Is it did he working with the government already? Did they made some type of deal? Oh no. Get this one in the real quick. Stuck in. Oh, I know it's looking bad for him. Real bad. Sad thing about it, he's 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 bringing his whole family down. He's bringing his son with him. That's the worst thing as a father. That if you're doing some shit that you're not supposed to do. Um, you're supposed to keep that shit away from your kids, and um, the way the, the way it looks, um, you teaching them the ropes of how to do it, Mister Jeffrey. He did capture for Michael Jackson. What the fuck is this about? I don't know, that's crazy right there. I know anybody ever heard of that Wolf K dude? Back then they said that he had something to do with that murder. I don't know if you have to go way back. But uh Wolf, I remember that name. Can't think of it right now. I can't. Yeah, no. Why is the internet slow today, or some reason that these videos don't want to like load up into my? Yeah, excellent internet connection. It just don't even like let me. It's just showing in circles. It's not even loading up. Yeah, I was looking for. I can't even find it right now to just load it up. It's just in the back right now. Boston, what up, Boston? So like I was saying, man, um, that 25. See, I'm trying to I'm trying to load up that video. 
of the guy that got caught with the coat. Now they say in on uh, the transcript that um he, he um he's like a mule. He'll bring in the drugs, um, certain weapons. Um, he'll bring in the females. It's, it's crazy. Like and and on that story, they said that he was a basketball player. But I'm trying to figure out what basketball fucking team did he play for. It has to be some type of college. See, I, mean, I know he was not in the goddamn NBA. Stories are allegedly they're saying that um, Pete Diddy um, knew about them coming over there. He broke out and left their kids behind. Is that true? I'm not sure. I don't know. But um, allegedly, that's what the people are saying. Um, I think he is the type that break out and just leave everybody behind and think about himself. I believe he's that type of coward. He, he, I don't know. Because if he makes his ex girlfriend, fiance, do all kinds of shit that he made that woman do after he paid her and got that settlement done, I felt like, yeah, you was guilty. You paid for it because you didn't want that shit coming all out. You try to cover that shit up. Uh, forcing your wife to have. You know, things with, man, that's 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 nasty and disgusting, man. I don't know. You got to be a real freak. What's that? Forcing your wife to have sex and everything like that? You watching or some shit like that? You got to be, you got to be a sick motherfucker to do that. Now, I got into some shit like that, some kinky stuff like that. Okay, but she wasn't with that shit. That's all I'm saying. I mean, anybody can do what the fuck they want to do. They grown ups. You know what I'm saying? You 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 like that shit? You like that shit? But to force another woman to do such a thing like that, it's terrible. Bop, what it do? Bop. Hey yo, Bop. Yes, I need you to come through. Uh uh, shit. I need you to come through. Uh uh, Saturday too. Next Saturday, not this Saturday. Next Saturday. Um, next Saturday. Um, we're going to have a little basketball game. It's going to be your boy, Kuba, the Bronx versus Artie. I'm going to slap the shit out of him real quick on basketball. I'm going to give him a fucking L. Don't come to the BX think you can play that basketball shit. So, um, yeah, I'm doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to start doing the basketball tournaments. Hopefully, um, I can meet some new people and shit and, um, play basketball against certain YouTubers and shit. Um. Audie's my first YouTuber I'm going to play. Then after that, I'm going to have to go to New Jersey and pay a visit out there and play somebody in basketball too. Win or lose, I'm still going to keep playing. I'm still going to do this YouTube basketball shit. I'm going to be pulling up in Brooklyn. I'm going to play some anybody that, that say they can play ball and they're a YouTuber. Hey, I'll be in them courts. Anybody from Queens, I hit them courts. Staten Island, it is what it is. Uh, I'm going through all boroughs this year. I'm going to film all my video, all my games on YouTube. So just um, look out for that and shit. Cuba's going to do a little war tour out here. This is, you know, they've been saying that uh, Cuba can't play basketball. So, you know, it is what it is. Black, I'm going to have to take these young kids to school, man. I ain't mad at you. I make sure I wear my knee brace. <laughs> and your back brace and your elbow brace and your motherfucking th all them braces. <laughs> you see, like I said, one thing for you to start saying some dumb shit. Let me let you finish off. I thought... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take a bag and what I'm going to have in my bag there. If I take my bag, what am I going to have in that bag? Some Ben Gay and some motherfucking vapor rub, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucking Epsom salt. Yeah, 
<laughs> Fucking icy hot. <laughs> all types of shit. Joint, uh, all types of joint creams and elbow rubs and all types of shit. <laughs> oh shit. Havoc, what up, Havoc? Oh, shit. SOS, what up, my boy? You already know. Smoked out society. Oh shit, man. Yeah, so I'm definitely doing that this year. Nice, it's gonna be nice weather this year, hopefully. And I'm pulling up from every borough. I mean, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going ham. I'm telling y'all, man. Just watch out for them videos, man. But um, the first one is coming out, not this Saturday, next Saturday. It's gonna be either on up here. I believe Artie's gonna put it on his live. I'm gonna put it on my live. And um, we're gonna play. Because um, he's been talking a lot of trash, like he can play basketball. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I ain't losing. If Cuba lose, oh shit. We're Man. talking about video games or real life? Wow, nah, real life basketball. Oh, this should be good. This nigga's about to break knees and shit. Oh yeah. Pull that motherfucker. Yeah, he 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 got a lot of mouth, so you know I have to shut him down real quick. You know he got a lot of mouth, so you know. I'm sure somebody dumps somebody. Huh? I'm sure somebody tries to dump and dump the door. Well, he, he I, I told him I'm gonna try. I told him. I I mean I met him before already. I know how tall how tall I am compared to him. How short he is. He says he got a dribble. He says he got a handle. He says he got a good shot. But all his little videos that he did when he was outside his house shooting that basketball, he must have made like three buckets out of 15. Like, what? Man, listen. You better keep practicing, Artie. I know you out there, party, but you better practice. He ain't ready for me, though. And if anybody want to put their money on him, good luck. You're going to lose your money. And I'm taking side bets too. So if anybody want to hit me on IG or anything, we could do that too. Awesome. You don't understand? Yeah, I keep on telling them this is what I do all, all summer long. There's 16 kids. I play basketball, show them how to play ball. Like he doesn't know I shoot the courts every summer out there. I don't know. I'm gonna slap him up though. He's gonna catch another L. On the, watch. He's gonna catch another L. Uh. Yo, wax dog. I'm gonna take these guys, these YouTubers out here, man. I'm telling you. See, I can. I, the only person I don't think I could play in basketball. Well, yeah, yeah. Maybe one. Yeah, yeah. The only person I don't think I could play is motherfucking ten toes. I don't think I'll be able to play against him. I remember I got some big ass arms and shit. Sort of like, man, let's I have to shoot from the outside. Now I would play him though. Believe it or not, I would play his ass. Yeah, I would play him. But that motherfucker's like big motherfucker though. I'm about to break his fucking ankles and shit. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do with his ass. I'm about to break his shit, cross over his ass. That's a big motherfucker. Jess, what up, Jess? Good show tonight. I was there. Your screen, my screen was up top. I was watching you. Good show, good show. Yeah, so my question is, um, just um your opinion. Uh, who's next? Who you think is next? Let me see if did I drop? Yeah, so. I just showed the video earlier for the people that missed the video. Um, it was about uh, Puffy. He took this little white girl from the streets and took her to the house and said, play with my kids. Knowing, and at the same time, she was like, yeah, Papa came and got me. Papa? The fuck? Weirdo, Jay-Z. I've been saying that. I'm telling you, uh -uh, Jess, I've been saying that in a like the last week, you could you could watch my other videos, 
and I was like, yo, they're gonna. But you know what? Believe it or not, I thought that Jay Z would get snatched up before um P Diddy. I thought Jay Z was next. Smaller. Believe it or not, he's smarter than he's smarter than Puff. Huh? I him that much. I him that much. He's smarter than Puff. You think so? Yeah, I think he's a lot smarter than Puff. I give him that much. But if he was smarter, then it would have been Jay Z instead of him, Puffy. You know when he's Jay-Z. gonna fall? When you start looking at the tape, you start looking at all that video of Puffy's house. That's when people are gonna start falling. You know how many people were in that man's house, man? My thing is this. If, if if they do a search warrant the way they did, they, they looked at like they was going to some old uh uh mafias, uh corrupt drugs lab. You know, they, they did you look at the all the officers how they was walking through the premises and and, and with the M16 shotguns and all kinds of shit. Now, now, my thing is this. Um, they have a lot of manpower there, right? When they did that, that search warrant. Now, in order for you to get a search warrant, a judge has to sign that. But before the judge signs that, he has to look at the information and seeing that you do have some type of evidence. You do have something for that judge to sign that off. Now, my question is that they have so much of that proof why is Diddy not handcuffed yet? Why don't they have a, 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 a warrant for his arrest? Why why was his two sons or one son was handcuffed and arrested? He may be smarter, but there are people smarter than Jay too. No, no, of, of course, of, but me, me, just um, before the P Diddy, I said the next rapper that gets caught up on some bullshit was Jay Z. That, that was my first person that I said, because you see Kanye West, they, they he was going crazy. He was saying the Illuminati sacrificed my family, sacrificed my mom. You know, he went berserk on that shit. He went that crazy route, and then he just. Started going back to his craziness, dressing, putting on these masks and shit. It's, it's, it's crazy, but um, I don't know. I think Jay Z got a lot of skeleton. You see, how old was uh Beyonce when they first dated? She was what fifteen. He was twenty something. That picture doesn't sound crazy right there. You tell me you have a 15-year-old daughter, you're gonna let your 15-year-old daughter go with a 20-something year old man. How that sounds. Really? I don't know. I don't know. That's crazy. That's crazy, but I know a lot of people's gonna get caught up on this whole entire shit. Well, they, they said that she was actually 16 when she was messing with him, and when they made it public, public, she was 18. You heard Jess? When 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 uh, when they was talking and stuff like that, she was sixteen. But when they made it public, she was eighteen. Remember, they so called parents were strict and some shit. You know, I don't know. In Hollywood, these parents are they, they they're the worst to blame too. Because these parents let their kids grow up into certain ways and. When they grown up, they do what the fuck they want to do, and they think they got more power and shit. Like, you know how that goes. 
Let me see if I can put the other video up too that I was looking for, but it was maybe loading up. But um, Jeffrey, he, he, he's going bad, honey. Oh, no. And she was right too. What was her name? Jack Jaguar Wright. I believe that's her name. A lot of people think she's crazy. Have you ever heard of her, Havoc? Yeah, I heard of her. Just spoke about her in one of her shows. Oh, you did? Yeah, she she she. You think she's crazy? You think she's crazy like people say? No. Nah. Because you know what? That's the first thing a lot of people start speaking. When you start speaking the truth, the, 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 the easiest way to try to avoid that or try to get people to know, oh, she's crazy. She's breaking down. She's having these nervous breakdown. Okay, so because she's having nervous breakdown means she's a liar? Like, since when health made a person a liar? You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy. Russell sent us a subpoena. Yeah, I heard that too. Yeah, but in order for him to get subpoena, don't he got to be served? <laughs> huh, Jess? Don't you got to get served? To, 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 to... I mean, who went out there to serve them? Somebody went to Yeah, but if they do that or his business with subpoena, like what what um what does that gotta do with with anything that's going on? Or do they just want more females or more people to talk about if he did this or he he touched you or he did that? They like, got enough information to burn him. They just want to go on him. That's what it is. They got they got enough to burn him, but now that they got what they got, they want to go. They're gonna finish it. Yeah, but then he, he gave yeah, just but he also gave that uh that 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 um his lawyer gave out that statement and all this bullshit. But um he's he said it for the first time if anybody speaks about my name, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, just like Meek Mills. Or oh, if somebody speaks about my name, I don't play that. Why hasn't been no lawsuit then? All these new people coming out. Yeah, but let me ask you a question, Jess. Um, how did his first wife die? What what was the cause of that? Do you know what happened? Uh, what was her name? Um, Bonya. What was her name? I can't think of her name. Was it Porter? Was was that her name? How did that woman die? Do you remember just when 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 one of his wife died and shit? I never found out how she died or what the like. I never. It was just like. Sorry about that. I was using the bathroom. Let's see. Yes. do you remember? Do you remember Pete Diddy's wife that passed away, that died and shit, his ex-wife or some shit? I can't think of her name right now. Well, her death was kind of crazy because it was not even really spoken about or it was not it's Kim Porter. Okay, okay. So how did Kim Porter originally die from, they said?
Diamond, what up, Diamond? Yeah, okay. Uh, do you believe that, Jess? Nah, I don't believe that shit, man. Which I believe that is a, allegedly, let me just say allegedly, because with um, YouTube. Um, and I know it's, it's the truth, but let me just use the word allegedly. There, there's some fucking chemicals out there that a person could use on somebody and they won't trace them. Like, it's crazy. I be thinking about certain people, how they died and some shit, and I be thinking, man, somebody got set up or something. Like, it's, it's no way certain people that, I know of that, damn, that person was in good health. How the fuck he just fell down and so called the thing got an heart attack or some shit? Hell to them, no, hell yeah. I don't believe that shit too. It's like they didn't like investigate it too much. Like, I think it was just like, boom, she died. Okay, two days, three days, and that's it. Never heard nothing about it. But people, let me let y'all know something too. Everybody saw about this big Diddy thing, right? But I guarantee you something bigger than this. Something around is coming is bigger than this. All this that we talking about right now, distraction. This is just a distraction to something else happens. Yeah, that brain and um I could tell you about that just because um may her soul rest in peace. Um my mother in law that happened to her and um when when that happened to us, they like we signed a form that in that form it tells you we are not a hundred percent guaranteed that she's gonna come out of it. Like it was just a a, a a thing of just saying, okay, let us do a work and let's see if we could try to save her. And it's not always guaranteed when they do surgery. And when that happened to us, they had to open her up from I'm fucking like close to forehead all the way to the back of the goddamn neck. Um, it, it was crazy. Yeah, but that book never came out. That was the most craziest thing right there. That that book right there that she wrote. Um, it was abracadabra. Oof. And it's gone. How come she made a book, right? And there was no copies of no, no transcript of, of, of any place wherever she went and got her book published or whatever it is that she was going for. Um, when 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 you as a as a person of uh as an author and you are coming out with a book um it's not gonna be the first book you're gonna get it's gonna be boxes full of books that you're gonna get so where the hell all them books went at Yeah, but she died two days later before coming out. I hope it's in there. She was correct. Exactly. That he bought it once the case. How yet yeah, should we open that case? 100% with the technology that we got now with DNA and all that shit. That DNA is helping a lot of brothers out. It's helping a lot of people coming out. Would you believe um, in 2023, over close to 17,000 people? was released because the DNA proved that that wasn't the person. 
17,000. So can you imagine this year alone how um, the process should go faster on certain people? But um, I salute that. Like, I understand it's science, but at the same time, that that, that definitely um, helps out the people. When these scientists are doing all these other shit, adding up two animals together to see what kind of shit they create, that's when it's like, nah, you playing with with nature, you playing with with God and shit. See, that's the difference between me and a whole bunch of y'all motherfuckers out there that be in the bushes. See, y'all believe in God, right? But I don't because I don't forgive. Y'all motherfuckers can forgive, but I can't. I can't do that shit. I can't be phony. I can't be fake. I can't do that. I'm just, I just keep the way I'm always been. I keep it real. I, I'm not, I'm not Mr. Tough Guy. I'm not Mr. Gangster. But um, I always kept it 100 with anybody that met me. So for people to come on this YouTube and act different or try to proclaim something that they not or, or Oh, yeah, by the way, this goes out to Gotti. Yo, bullets Gotti, when I catch you, I'm going to slap the shit out of you. Um, Going back to the show. Yeah, I'm going to slap the shit out of him. He's from Brooklyn, too. So that's a good thing because I don't have to travel nowhere. I can just go over the bridge and go over there and slap him up, come back, go to my fucking, um, what's that fucking uh, uh, restaurant, uh, cheesecake shit, um, Junior's. I go over there, get me a cheesecake, come back to the BX, I'm good. Yeah, that motherfucker got a dirty ass mouth putting out my name out his mouth like I don't even fuck with that dude. I don't even, I never even made a video or spoke about this motherfucker like that. Fucking weirdo. You got one eyeball looking straight at you and then you got the other eyeball going in circles. Like what the fuck is, what the Man, fuck is that? Oh yeah, yeah, he's a dude. Yeah, yeah, that that that, that. I'm gonna call him Four Fingers. Yeah, that Four Fingers dude. Yeah, yeah, they call him. They call him with a with a with a with a with a it. Yeah, you two can't can't do that I mean because of that. Yeah, they call him with an it. Yeah, they did that. Uh uh. Yeah. Yeah, they I heard it was a video out too. Huh. I don't want to watch it. Nah. Trust me, I don't want to watch it. Hell no, I wanna watch no video of that. They say they do. But whoever watched that video, you're our Yay! <laughs> now they stop. <laughs> oh shit. Motherfuckers will be winding that shit. I heard. That shit is crazy. Like what? Y'all motherfuckers are strange. Y'all motherfuckers give me some funny ass vibes. Can't do that. Yeah, alright. I'm trying to do that to you. Don't worry, don't worry, Jess. When I catch him, I'm slapping, I'm slapping twice. One for me and one for him dying. Disrespect your show. How about that? One for the Rico squad. My boy Fetakele Wala Nai. Go ahead, cabrón. Yeah, man. Have it. So, what's up, man? What's up with you, man? When you going live? Okay, he must be, he must be back. Um, am I muted? Am I muted? No, I'm not muted. You can't hear me? Now I can. Oh, but you sounded like you was like three buildings away and shit. Oh. That's weird as fuck because I'm actually in the kitchen right next to the fucking computer trying to make these pork chops. I'm hungry. Making me some pork chops and french fries. Fuck that shit. Oh shit, you eating meat today? Why? What's today? Why no se come carne hoy? Ah, che, ve que tiene. Che, ve que carajo. Que se joda, ¿verdad?
that no, you can't eat no meat today. You can't eat that. No, not today. I'm like, what the fuck? What? Word? Let me get some bacon. Fuck that. <laughs> fuck you mean I can't eat no meat? Shit. Shit. Oh man. Yeah, so like I said, man, before I'm gonna start that new um page up hopefully by Wednesday. Um the Cuba uh the Cuba, uh Cubano 3.5 is gonna be a platform for gaming, and in that gaming platform, um, I'm gonna select about Six guys, and um, once I select those six guys, they're going to um, learn how to play the tournaments, how to join, how to make money off the tournaments. Um, we're going to show them how to get more viewers and put them on Twitch, Discord, and um, see how that goes. Um, if you love the game and you ain't doing shit, you ain't working, um, you could make, you could definitely make some money playing video games. Um, I'm about to get back on to it too, man. Fucking, they coming back out with a new Ghost Recon. Ghost Recon, you said? Yeah, they're coming out with a new Ghost Recon. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, 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 I seen that. They've been talking about that. Yeah, PlayStation Fives are fucking cheap now. Damn, what's going on now? Crazy how the how the price drops on the PlayStation fives and shit. Oh, you're going in and out right now. I'm sorry, Havoc. I can't understand. You sound like a robot. Let me get closer to the computer. I said, yeah, I still got the number four that somebody gave me. I have to be fucking connected to that. Well, the PlayStation 4? Yes. Yeah. I believe it works better than the 5, though, believe it or not. Damn. Yeah, but the, the, the like I said, man, them, them shits just, just look like cheap now. They want 340 for them now. Probably about to come out with something new. Huh? Probably about to come out with something new. Oh no, but it just dropped like that. But we mostly gonna be playing all the Modern Warfare Three tournaments. Um, Black to the P is gonna be trying to get. I'm gonna um get him into the. Well, he plays Madden, so anybody that likes to play the football. Um, you could definitely hit black to the P. Well, um, I'm gonna get back to football too. I'm not the greatest in football. I can't really talk shit on that. But um, when it comes down to uh Modern Warfare Three, um, I'm definitely nice in that. And I did um doing something this Friday. This Friday, I am gonna give anybody three hundred dollars that could beat me on Modern Warfare Three. Um, uh, one on one is gonna be live. So if you got some skills or something, hit me up on IG and I'll add you up too. So that's one tournament I'm going to be having personal myself. Um, it's going to start at nine o'clock, and um, like I said, I'm going to have all the platforms open up, and um, hopefully I get my Twitch account into the YouTube. Um, a lot of people might be going to be talking a lot when they see much viewers and subscribers here um twitch i have a different name i don't have the same followers on youtube as twitch so hopefully um i definitely see y'all friday and if, like i said that will hit me up on ig kuba the bronx or you will um hit me on my playstation name um um bx got pot one five three and shit that's my tagger's name. You can definitely um, message me. They'll add me to your system, whatever you have, Xbox, uh, PlayStation. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, that's about it. So that's going to be something good going on. So 
I don't think you play you play Modern Warfare Havoc. Yeah, I haven't had to take a while. Mm -hmm. I play a little better now. Rich yeah, Martin. I say yeah. Now nah, I play, I play a little bit, but y'all niggas are professionals. I'll be watching y'all niggas get done. Niggas be in there doing things. God damn. Yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna have that tournament. Somebody could win three hundred dollars Friday. If you better than me and you can beat me one on one, I mean, I'll cash out you the yeah. money. And I'll definitely yeah, do it live. Cool. I'll show everybody the viewers that I cash after. I'm gonna put my phone up on the camera and send it out that's if cool. I lose. A, I doubt it. I, yeah, I doubt. I doubt it if I lose. I'm I'm I, I'm real confident in my game skills. Um, like I said, we're gonna be playing a little one-on-one -on -one little tournament. Uh, first round is um whatever gun you want to use, you can use. Uh, after that is going to be second round. It's going to be a snipe off. You can pick any sniper or rifles you want. And third round will be all pistols. So if you could beat me on that, then um, I'll be glad to, you know, give you a reward for that Friday. So like I said, everybody's welcome and shit. I know Blacks of the P is going to be the first one on playing me. Um... I don't know about if Cuba, the uh, boss in Cuba, is going to join me or some shit. And um, I got three other people that IG me already last week about it. So let's see how that goes. It's going to be a good one. I said, I'm doing, I'm definitely doing a lot of different things this year. I want to get the basketball going on from the YouTube. Um, I want to meet a couple of people out there in Brooklyn. Um, uh, and it's all out of respect. There ain't no beef and shit, none of that fighting shit. Oh, I know this person, you don't know that person. I'm not with that shit. I'm too I, I ain't got time for that shit in my life. I, I'm enjoying life. So what I'm trying to do is try to create something way different. All these people talking about let's get in the ring, let's get these boxing gloves. Man, a lot of people ain't pulling up. A lot of people is not pulling up. That's just a fucking lie. It's a fake. It's a fraud. I don't believe that shit. So me, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to be pulling up in Brooklyn, Queens, Harlem, even in my own hometown, the BX. Um, It is what it is. Even for my boy BOP. So I might go out to the Brooklyn and slap somebody up. Yo, BOP, what up? What up, people? Good? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm about to go. I'm about to go out there to your hometown in Brooklyn and slap the shit out of Gotti. And like I said, after <laughs> I slap the shit out of him, I'm gonna go to Junior's, pick up some cheesecake from there. <laughs> <laughs> you get you gonna get a whole cake? Yeah, the whole pie cake of that cheesecake. What well, fuck a slice. I'm getting that whole pie. Yeah. Motherfuckers always want to say my name for no reason. Like, leave me the fuck alone. Bother somebody else. Go bother somebody else. I'm not in the dirty sector with y'all motherfuckers. I'm not down with that shit. Leave me the fuck alone. Let Cuba be Cuba. Let me be who I am. It's too much fuckery going on. Like, y'all want to go and go at it? Go at it with somebody else. I ain't got time for that shit. I can't have a battle rapping, gang, keyboard, gang banging. Nah, I can't do none of that shit. Can't do that shit. I don't understand how the fuck I got more enemies on YouTube than I do in real life. Like, I don't even got no enemies in real life. We got these dudes out here just wanting to hate and shit. Shit's just crazy. BOP, how's your day, man? This shit is good. I'm at work right now. I'm good, though. Mm. I just joined the MC. What's up? What's up, a block? 
Yeah, you was chilling for a little bit. I think his phone died out. But what's up, man? You missing an action on Call of Duty too, man? That's another thing, man. What's going on with you? When 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 you gonna be um, up and running? Nah, I'll be working at nighttime. Y'all be doing that shit at nighttime. By the time I get home, y'all niggas, I'll be tired. Oh, so, you I the, be doing... so you got the graveyard shift, you saying? Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, by the time I get home, ooh, ooh, damn. That should be I'll like, be home what? like 12 o'clock, like in the daytime. Noon time. I'll be, be working at, I work at both airports. Hey, no, sure, I appreciate you for pulling up that is shit. Yeah, that what shit you planning shit. on doing? What you talking about tonight? Man, I was just talking about game off for uh, Diddy, aka Jeffrey. I call him Jeffrey now. Um, I think Jay Z is gonna be the next one. Um, oh yeah, that shit crazy. But they taking all take the all bad boy music off the off the radio. Um, I heard they were gonna take some of all his shit off the radio because Mamba is drug, is is uh, sex trafficking, and a lot of the companies don't want to be involved or don't want to be supporting that fuckery. You see, that's what that's what in YouTube it should be. When there's fuckery going on, you shouldn't support that shit. But the more you support it, the more numbers you get, the more they talk about it. Now I guarantee you that if if, if you start gossiping and, and having these total packages and having these mans argue with each other and you don't go and see them and they don't have no views, they're gonna stop that shit and get into contact and talk about something that is going on in real life. I don't wanna know about no other YouTubers where his where his thing is going now and who he's doing or who he's talking to. Like that's no news. That's the, that's the fuck is that? That's crazy. This whole YouTube shit came out with some female type of shit. I'm talking about BX shit. I'm talking about young kids coming out there, scooter jumping out and just popping another kid in the fucking corner, and then you probably be like a 12 year old, 13 year old young kid, and I talk about that shit. You got these grown ass men talking about, yeah, I'll beat you up. Yeah, I'll fuck you up. No, 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 y'all. Come to my block. No, come to over here. You come over here. I'll bet you I'll fuck you up. Yeah, come knock on my door. Who's going to knock on your door? Who's going to go over and knock on your door? Like, stop it. Come downstairs. What are you talking about? Knock on my door. No, that's the worst thing you could do, anybody. That's the worst thing anybody could do is knock on somebody's door. That's the worst. Like, this shit is crazy, BOP. I be trying to stay away from this shit. Yeah, so like I said, I believe that boxing thing is a, it's, 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 it's all fake. It's all bullshit. It is what it is. But um, I'm gonna end this show, and uh, we we are definitely. Well, I am. I'm gonna get on some Call of Duty right now. Live stream. I already got like four messages. Oh shit. Um, let me give a quick shout out to uh, uh, Falger. Um, shout out to you from Discord. Um, California girls there too. I see you. Um, let me who's there. Okay, I, I see you, X Man. Um, shout out to you too. Appreciate that. Um, let me see. Okay, welcome, Texas. I see Texas in the building. Uh, well, which I can see. Well, I'm just um streaming from three different platforms right now. Um, never check me out on Twitch and also Discord. Um, yeah, we got a lot of people over in Discord. Okay, people, I'm going to end this show right now. And if y'all want to um, know anything about this Friday coming up, like I said, hit me up on IG. Um, I'll be having a tournament at 9 o'clock this Friday. 9 p.m. 
Eastern Time, New York Time. Our uh, people, it's 12.08 right now, Friday night, the 29th, 45 degrees, New York City. Um, BOP, you want to say something before I end this? Uh, I guess. Yeah, BOP, you might say uh, you, 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 your mic's fucked up. Shout out to Blacks of the P and shit. We put the real quick intro too, real quick. people and we still appreciate everybody for pulling up and shit um shit, like i said i'm gonna get on the game right now anybody want to pull up real quick i was welcome to pull up but um like i said i'm gonna end this show um, see people 212 salute thank you came a little late Google, stop playing with me you Y'all people, I don't know, man. It, it just gets crazy out here. Like, this shit is just like, I don't know. It, it, it's just like, motherfuckers be doing some old crazy shit. Like, I guess it's just that Hollywood uh, um, YouTube and shit. I, I live in the real world. DX all day forever, you know that. Just so many people be been acting like they about that or, or or they just hear they just hear a lot of stories from other people and they try to create themselves like they are really known they are really somebody like please stop that shit this is crazy but like i said i'm gonna get on the game right now um i'm gonna be streaming hopefully uh boston cuba is up and um certain other people's up so i know i got like about Let's see, we got 16 people over here on the, yeah, 
we definitely will be on right now. So don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and I appreciate everybody for pulling up. You'll check me out in a few minutes. I'll be live on the streaming YouTube platform and shit, gaming. And like I said, people, yo, people, 212, do you fuck with video games? I know you came late, but um, this Friday I'm going to have a tournament one-on-one, -on -one, whoever could beat me and shit on uh, Modern Warfare. It's going to be a three-round. First round, anybody could use any kind of gun. Second is the sniper, and the third would be a pistol. So I'm definitely pulling up um, Friday at 9 o'clock. So like I said, everybody have a great night, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Peace.